Hey everyone, it's Eric from FirearmTutorials.com and today I'm going to test some subsonic 22 rounds. Um, what I've rigged up is a 7.5 inch box uh, full of cardboard, basically as tight as I could pack it. Um, it's pretty solid, I've, I've stood on it and jumped on it and uh, it seems really sturdy. What I'm going to do is shoot uh, a total of six rounds into it and uh, I'm going to put some ballistic plates behind it just in case any of them do penetrate and uh, we'll look at the results. There are various types of 22. i I'll explain what they are um, as I shoot them. They're uh, bullet weights and speed and uh, once I get them all through we'll take a look at the results and see what we find. <clears throat> all right so we're back now the first round I'm gonna use is from Aguila. It's a 22 Super Calibri which is a 20 grain bullet no gunpowder at all. So this is basically as far as the primer is going to propel it. And I'm going to go for the top left here. Now I know this uh, scope needs to be recalibrated, but at a distance of about seven yards, I don't anticipate having a problem hitting it. A little low. So that was the Calibri. Next we're going to go with the CCI Mini Mag 22 short. It's a 29 grain bullet, 710 feet per second. <clears throat> Obviously it has gunpowder. Hit it dead on, pretty close, a little bit louder. So next we're going to do the uh, CCI Quiet, again from uh, another subsonic round from CCI. This is same deal, 710 feet per second, but it is a 40 grain bullet. This should be a little quieter. And we're going to go for the middle left there. Wow, that sounded like that hit the ballistic plate. <clears throat> uh, next is the 22 standard velocity. This is a uh, 1,070 feet per second, so still subsonic. Um, another 40 grain bullet. So this is going to go a little bit faster. Yeah, those are definitely hitting the plates. Wow. All right. Next, we've got the Remington 22 Subsonic. I don't know much about it. It doesn't say on the box what the bullet weight is. OK, OK, 38 grains, 1,050 feet per second. And these are hollow. This is actually a hollow point. And we're going to go top right. Yep, I was just a tad high on that, but still works for purposes of our test. And last is going to be a 22 from uh, Remington Super X out of the bulk pack. It is a uh, High velocity, um, 22 round, I think standard 40 grains or so. So this one should have the most punch and it should be the loudest. <clears throat> so let's take a look at the results. All right, you look at the results here found one bullet on here. Looks like one of them was a solid hit to the plate, two of them, a third, that might be an exit, and then it bounced off this plate. So let's take a look at the inside. I think that's the 22 Calibri bullet. Um, obviously none of them had any trouble penetrating. And you see I packed this all pretty, pretty tight. These aren't all the same size, but let's see what we come across here.
even the Calibri did a fairly good job of penetrating. As I said, I think that's the one that was lodged in the very back, that was lodged in the very back of the box. But if you had to, if I had to predict the results before, I would have said the only one that probably would have penetrated was the high velocity, but we know that's not the case. So this has gone through pretty much all of these. Even three quarters, one, two, three, four, five, and that's that's a pretty good pretty good opening there. Wow. See where it really started to tumble. And as we get further along, you see how much damage these do when they start to tumble. That's crazy. I wouldn't have expected that either. So really all we found was one bullet. Okay, so the very back we got one, two, three, four. Four out of six. One went straight through the top and hit the ballistic plate. These plates are supposed to absorb the bullets, but I don't see any of them in here. They obviously just hit here and bounced off. They're probably in the ground somewhere. So, pretty interesting test. Out of all those, we actually only got one projectile. So, that'll do it for the uh, 22 testing. Um, thanks for watching.